Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining me. Today I have a demo and review on the new Maybelline The Colossal Spider Effect Volume Express Mascara. Whew, that's a lot of words. Um, but this is a mascara that so many people had such a um, visceral reaction to online whenever I saw that it was launching. All of the Instagram comments were just all over the place. And it's one of those things that just um, kind of evokes that kind of response. Whenever we think of spider lashes, you either think of tarantula legs or you think of like daddy long legs. So spider lashes means different things to different people. So I tend to think of spider lashes looking like tarantula legs, but I also think that spidery lashes can look good because that makes me think of like daddy long legs like really long um, fanned out dramatic lengthened but non clumpy lashes marketing and the name of this is a little off I feel like it can kind of tend to alienate some people um, if you think that this mascara is going to be a certain way and that's not the way that you would want your lashes to look so regardless of what I thought about it, I picked it up anyway and decided to give it a try. So this is what the wand looks like and if you saw my review of the L'Oreal um, Butterfly Sculpt Mascara, this wand is almost identical to it. The only difference is, like the similarity is that it has nothing on the one side of it. Let me see. Let me put it on my big forehead. There's nothing on the one side of it and then you turn it over on the other side it has bristles all around the other half of it whereas the butterfly sculpt one um, only had two or three rows of bristles just kind of like kind of in a V shape. So it is similar and different. I really really hated that mascara. It was really terrible and this one you can see whenever you first bring it out of the tube there is oh, let's focus there there is a lot of mascara on this wand and you're gonna see in the demo that I do take a makeup wipe and just wipe it off the wand um, I would say like at least 50% I just knock it all off before I go into my lashes with this so we're gonna get to the demo and you're gonna see me apply it to this eye because the other one has already been done and then we're gonna come back here and recap So you saw the demo and you can see right now that my lashes I feel like look pretty good. This is, you know, pretty close to how I like my lashes to look. I don't feel like they're tarantula legs, but with this mascara it is really all in the way that you apply it. Normally I would do two coats of any mascara that I put on, but the various ways in which I tried this product just showed me that one coat is the way to go if you don't want the bad spider lashes. If you just want them to look long and defined and you know just a little bit dramatic but not clumpy then one coat is all that you need and definitely knock off the excess product from the wand with a makeup wipe or a tissue or whatever you've got before you put this on and then I just kind of worked it into my lashes slowly wiggling up and then after I got on that initial um, coating of mascara on I would start to twirl the wand to kind of comb through the lashes and add that length to it and distribute the mascara so that's how I applied it I feel like that's the best way for me and for anybody that would not want to have the clumpy spider lashes that's the way that you're going to want to go with this and most mascaras with one coat you really don't get the full potential but I feel like this one one coat is perfect for it it's one and done and you get as good of a 
normal mascara look as possible out of it. Now, if you do want to go in for two coats, it does start to get very, very clumpy, and it's a little bit hard to stop the clumping from happening. It's just going to naturally occur because the formula is very, very thick, and I feel like that's not a look that I would go for, but if that's the look that you want to go for with your lashes and you prefer um, having your lashes like that, there's nothing wrong with that and go for it, but just be aware that you might want to kind of be careful of what's getting on your eyelid because then it can start getting very messy um, as the mascara builds up on your lashes. And then if you really want to go hardcore and go for the crazy kind of spider lashes that they show in the ads, go in for that third and fourth coat and you're going to end up with, you know, three or four big chunky lashes. But sometimes that's just what you want out of your look and just go for it if that's what you really like. So now that we've gone over the kind of intricacies of working with the formula and the wand, I will just tell you that I did not get any flaking or smudging with this mascara. I did use it on my bottom lashes every single time that I used it on my top lashes and I didn't get any smudging or flaking. That was great because I really kind of expected to get some smudging and flaking. And this mascara is also $6.99. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. I picked mine up at Ulta, but I have also seen it at Walmart and Target. Anywhere else that I can find it online, I will link it down below so that you guys can shop around for it to find the best deal. And I will just say that I am very, very surprised by this mascara. I really thought that it was going to be bad based on the name of it and the connotation that that kind of evokes, but I think that this is a really good mascara. I don't know if I will actually go ahead and repurchase once I use this tube up, but I definitely will use the tube up. I am really bad about, if I don't like a mascara, it's going in the bin after the first week. I'm just not going to keep it around. So this one I'm definitely going to keep around. I will use it. I don't think it's bad at all. It's not the best drugstore mascara that I've used. But it's definitely not the worst and I think it's definitely worth a try if you do want to get a look that is similar to this on your lashes or if you do want to go in for that full spider tarantula leg effect. So that is it guys. I hope that you enjoyed this review and I hope it helped you make a decision on whether you need to pick this up or not. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye! Hi everybody! <clears throat> legs. Legs. <laughs> Rambling.